full time. The wait is over. Kylian Mbappe has given the W for Real Madrid. Madrid 2. Real Betis nail if Kylian Mbappe is your, your MVP or if he's your man of the match. Make sure you smash that like on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But look, this is the performance we needed. This is the performance we needed from Vini Jr., from Kylian Mbappe, from Valverde, from every Real Madrid player. They needed to show up today because it was a massive match. Barcelona have won all their games. Madrid couldn't slip and they did not slip. They won this game. I was a little bit scared in the first half because first half was similar, sort of similar to what we've seen in the past. But then the second half, we bounced that big. I mean, we bounced back big. Kylian got that first goal. The moment he got that first goal, you know the confidence is going to come back. And confidence was there. And, and then the second goal was a penalty. Hats off to Vinny Jr. for letting Kylian Mbappe take the penalty because Clearly, I mean, easily, easily, easily Vinny could have taken that pen. Vinny could have taken that, that pen, but he knows that Kylian Mbappe is under enormous pressure. So he gives the pen to, to Kylian and Kylian doesn't disappoint. Puts the ball in the back of the net. 2-0, good night, and all the haters now can go to sleep fine. They can go to sleep fine, but look, the standings, uh, <clears throat> let me quickly take a look at the standings here. So as you can see, the standings on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, Real Madrid now are second with eight points. Barcelona are up top with 12 points. The gap between Real Madrid and Barcelona is four points. Uh, Atletico Madrid also have eight points and Villarreal also have eight points. So look. Madrid could not afford to dro uh, to drop this game, to drop any points today, and they did it, and, and and they won in the end. Next game, international break is coming up now, so next game for Real Madrid you know, will be um, will be against um, against Espanol. So that should be an easy game, you know. That should be an easy game, Espanol against. Madrid against Espanol, we should win that game. We should win that game clearly. But today, I'm happy about the performance from Kylian Mbappe, from Vini Jr. Rodrigo was a little bit quiet. Uh, Diaz, of course, came in uh, and made a difference. He made a huge difference uh, coming on and just on that right flank, he made a difference. Rodrigo pretty much played the whole game, but he should have, he shouldn't do better. I mean, he has to do much more. He has to do much more. He can't just pretend to be he's one of the greats. He can't act like he's on the same level as Kylian Mbappe and Vini Jr. He's not. So therefore, when the team loses possession, he needs to be defending. He needs to be tracking back. I've seen him today that he loses the ball, he doesn't track back. So that's not good. That's not good from Rodrigo. But it's a massive W for Madrid and for Carlo Ancelotti. Performance-wise throughout the whole team, I think it was solid. Defensively, they weren't really tested. Betis didn't really attack. They just sat back and played for a draw. And in the end, they paid for it. They paid for it. But Hala Madrid uh, got the W that we needed. And we got Kylian Mbappe scoring. I'm happy. I'm happy. Kamal says, Hala Madrid. Hala Madrid. Hala Madrid. Royal Madrid. Three points in the back. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you drop a comment saying whatever you like, whatever you like. Do you think Madrid is going to win the, the league? Do you think Kylian Mbappe will be the top scorer in Europe this season? Let me know in the comment section. But as always, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Hola Madrid!